What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and boy, I'm excited to share with you the next top 10 tweaks, which all happen to be free, that are compatible and work great with iOS 8. So if you've just jailbroken your device using the Pangu tool, then you're wondering, I mean, what do I do now? Well, there are limited amount of tweaks and it's growing so rapidly. I mean, the support is crazy for iOS 8. So many developers are jumping on, updating their old tweaks and releasing new things, you know, to work with iOS 8 and the new features included. So I'm excited to share the next top 10 tweaks that are compatible with the Pangu jailbreak all happen to be free and I'm gonna be showing it to you on my iPhone 6. Now, yes, all of these tweaks are free. However, not all of them can be found just by searching in Cydia. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask you guys to add a source just by clicking over here, going to edit and add, and go ahead and click on the link down below in the description. In there, I'll include the sources you need to install all of these cool tweaks. And lastly, I just wanna quickly mention that not all of these are specifically built for iOS 8 or have been updated iOS 8. However, I have tested them and they do work great. I haven't encountered any sort of issues and there has been a new update to the Untether, which you should update to Insidia, which will ensure that you have the best possible experience. So not all of these are updated iOS 8. However, most of them do work and a couple of these are new that you've never seen before. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first tweak, it's been specifically tailored to iOS 8. So it's been built specifically for it, it's new. What it allows you to do is activate Siri without needing your device to be plugged in. Because you know that new feature where if you have your device plugged in and you call for Siri, it'll answer without needing to actually hold the button and activate it. Hey Siri. Cool, there you go, it activated. And I actually have an iPhone off to the side that activated as well, but it's a really cool feature. I find it very useful and you can enable it by going into settings, general, and uh, in here, Siri. So in here, as you guys can see, if you allow Hey Siri, you now have a second option, which is always not just plugged in. This is the very first example of a tweak that's built for iOS 8 and it increases functionality. I mean, how cool is that? You don't even need to take it. It can be in your pocket. You just ask it for something and it'll tell you without even needing to look at your device. I find it very useful. So I definitely would recommend this one. And remember, all of these tweaks are free. Number two is power tap. So this is one that you don't actually see being used. It's very, very functional though. So if you're gonna be installing tweaks, this is a must. Now, if I hold the power button, usually I just get the option to turn my device off. However, just tap on that little power button right there twice and you now have an option slide to respring now respringing is basically like refreshing your device just without actually rebooting it fully it just reloads all of the things on the springboard so if your device ever crashes or something like that all you guys need to do is respring it and it'll go back to normal now for this guy i forgot to mention that if you just tap it once you have the option to reboot your device so it'll fully turn it off and turn it back on without you needing to press the power button and then click it once more and it goes to the respring. So this has two very useful functionalities. Now I say this tweak is a must because over the course of this video, I'm gonna be showing you some tweaks that haven't been optimized for iOS 8. Now what that means is if you enable them, they don't take effect until you respring your device. And this is probably the easiest way I found to add respring capability to your device without actually needing a separate application for it. It's so cool. You just tap it and in here, you can respring your device without any you know unnecessary applications crowded up your device. So definitely recommend if you're going to be installing any sort of themes or applications or tweaks from Cydia, you definitely need this one. Now the next one, this is my favorite, is called Mobius. So this is directly pulled from Android. However, it is so cool to have it on an iOS device. It's just so fluid and it works very well. Now I don't know if this is going to work without respringing. As you guys can see, if you enable something, you need to go actually and respring your device until it takes effect. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so now I can show you, this is really cool. So, wow, you didn't meet a border, you just went straight through back to the first home screen page. So, you know, it's such a minor little thing, but it can make the difference between a really cool experience on iOS 8. So this one is such a small little tweak, but I definitely would recommend it. And this is one of those that you can't find in the Cydia store. So click on that link down below and you'll find the repository for it where you can install it from. Again, really cool. I mean, yeah, it's taken straight from Android, but Apple hasn't officially added it. I wish they would, it's, it's cool because you know, being met with a border, it's not as fun as just swiping infinitely. It's really cool. Anyways, definitely would recommend this one just for daily usage, you'll love it. Next is Live Battery Indicator. So what this tweak is, it's very similar to another one I showed you. It actually installs the exact same tweak, Alkaline. However, this one comes preloaded with a whole bunch of different little battery icons right there. So I'm gonna enable it and in here, it'll include a whole bunch of other ones. So a little circular one right there 
I go back, it actually has a built-in respring feature right here. So I'll show you this in a second. So as you guys can see, I just have a little circle with my battery percentage in the corner. So just sleek little tweak. It adds a really cool little look. And I'll just show you real quick the other ones that are available. So in here, you know, you have the regular ones that come with it. And then you have a the number without the circle around it. Just a couple other variants of it, as you guys can see right there. So definitely would recommend this one. You know, it, it adds no unnecessary features. It just simplifies the little battery icon. Cool little addition, iOS 8. Next up is Cylinder. Now, this is a very similar one to Barrel, which I showed you in my last video. However, it contains a more diverse amount of transitions. So let me just show you. Look at that. Look at how cool that is. A really unique way to shift in between pages on your iOS device. And, oh man, it works really well. So it's very fluid. Now the older your device is, you might notice a little bit of lag on the 4S. I don't know, I haven't tested it out, but it might be well optimized too. So in settings, you can actually enable random, which I'm gonna do a respring and I'll show you in a second. All right, so random has been enabled. Let me go ahead and run through some of the cool transitions you can expect to see with this tweak. So it's a lot more diverse. Barrel has a very limited amount and you can't even download more in the Cydia app store. So this is completely random. So you guys can see, that looks pretty damn cool. I mean, it's really cool what you can do and how it really changes the look and feel of your device on iOS 8. So cylinder, it's a lot like Barrel, just more diverse. And I found that it's very fluid. It has absolutely no any sort of errors or lag, stuff like that. So I definitely would recommend this one if you wanna change the look of your device drastically. SB Flip is next. Now I find this one very useful, very cool, because what it does is it basically brings over the iPhone 6 Plus's ability to rotate the home screen onto the iPhone 6 and other iPhones that aren't supported usually. So here it is in action on my iPhone 6. This is not a 6 Plus, and boom, you can get it to rotate. Now you can choose whether or not your dock rotates as well. You can keep it dynamic, or how it is right now. So there are some options you can play with in the settings. As you guys can see right here, you can disable the rotation entirely, keep it a stationary dock or a dynamic dock. So, and then you have a built-in respring right here. This is really cool. So it's not limited to the iPhone 6 Plus anymore. And this is definitely a recommended one. I mean, I don't see why not. It's really cool. Unless you find it annoying that your device rotates the home screen, but generally very cool. Nothing negative about this for sure. Next is Bitefont. So this is very useful. I find this one a very beautiful way to change the look of iOS 8. It allows you to change the font from everything, not just the springboard throughout your entire device. And I already downloaded one. So I just wanna mention how this works is you go over here and you're gonna to wanna to find a popular font. You know, just look around for what you like. See, as you guys can see, there's this one and you wanna open it up in Cydia. Click on that guy right there and it'll open it up and you got to click install and only then will you see it inside of the application. So you don't install it from in here. It takes you to Cydia and you install it from there. But I already downloaded one, so I'm going to show you guys that. And uh, click on that guy. It's a little buggy. It'll freeze up, but it does respring. And look at that. Wow. Hard for me to believe that there's a different font. I'm just so used to looking at the regular one. And it looks really cool. It's just the fact that it's different. I'm so used to it being the same, but now that it's different, not only on the springboard, but inside settings, everywhere else, you can see that it is changed. And I think this is really cool. And because there are so many fonts you can install, this is a must as well, because it's really cool. You can explore the world of fonts, how it looks on your device, what you like. By default too for iOS 8. This next one is called Flurry. Now it changes the look of the transparency on your device. Look at that. You can almost see through it, your applications, your dock has changed, the actual notification center as well. So you're taking a call, that little green bar right here, you can change the transparency of that as well. So it adds a very sleek, modern look to iOS 8. And of course you can change and alter how much transparency you want to change. So if you can see all the way through, if it's more blurry, less blurry, there's a lot of options inside of settings. Now here's dock shift. This is a very minor one, but it does alter and change the look of the dock on your iOS 8 springboard. So as you guys can see, mine is completely gone. You can't even see it. There are several settings to play around with inside of the settings, as you guys can see, style. So I'm gonna choose, uh, let's say, milk glass. And I'll respring it, I'll be right back. So here it is just with that look. So pretty much just change the look. You can make it clear, you can mix it up, you can change the size actually. So there are several options in there. You know, basically just alter the look of your dock on iOS 8. And lastly, this is a pretty useful one. 
it adds functionality to Instagram. It's called Savegram, and it's very simple. All it allows you to do is click on this little guy right here on the picture, and it lets you save the photo. So you can directly save Instagram photos to your device. And if you guys want to follow me, my name is Phone Rebel. But basically, Savegram, very simple way to save photos from Instagram. Doesn't have any tweak settings and settings, but very simple, very straightforward. Just basically save photos from Instagram to your device, you know, the full size resolution. And guys, that's just about it. So that's top 10 free tweaks from iOS 8 that are compatible after the Pangu jailbreak. And these are the best that I found right now. And of course, I will be making many more of these videos. I know you guys do like them. And of course, you want to know what you can do after you jailbreak your device. So what's the point if you don't do anything with it? There's so much out there and I want to bring that to you guys, show you all of it. Not all of these you're going to like, but at least some of these, if you do like them, download them, support the developer, you know, all that. So thanks guys. Thumbs up. This video does help me because these aren't the easiest to make, but I do appreciate you guys watching this video. Have a great day. Enjoy the tweaks. Peace.